Can I say aye? Aye. 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 Against. Thank you very much, Alistair. Good work. Team, thank you. Great to see you and be seeing you. Keep up the good work out there. Awesome. Okay, item 13. Recommendation from Parks, Recreation, Sports Committee, Clarification and Decision Making on Mangari Maunga. All right, we have got Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris, yeah, Chris does, but who's this fellow who's with me? Yeah, John. Mr. Chairman, we've got Rob Kens here. Oh, this excellent. Sorry, matter I has that. been Stop. fully considered, and I'm happy to move it. It requires requires the consent of the governing body. Yep, that's good. And uh, look, uh, and sorry, Rob, I was struggling to read your name. Um, so, okay, um, Rob, uh, welcome. We've got a recommendation. It's moved by the Chair and seconded by Councillor Cowell as the Deputy. Uh, okay, Rob, um, uh, a um, technical report. Anything you want to add? Um, no, I'm happy to take the report as read and uh, answer any questions. Okay, um, Councillor uh, Chris is here. And sorry, Chris Fletcher. Chris, um, is there anything you want to add as a Chair before we climb into any further questions? Uh, no, this, this complies with the request of the local board. The matters were fully uh, considered at the Parks Committee and, as I say, under delegations, it just requires the consent of the governing body. Very good. Right, uh, we've got uh, Councillor... Um, I've got Councillor Al first, then Councillor Cathy, then Councillor Chris D. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, firstly, I just want to uh, acknowledge the uh, local board chair... Uh, for Mangari or Tahuhu Lydia, uh, who's here. Kia ora. And, Lydia, sorry, um, didn't see you. Also the previous chair and local board in regards to this particular issue and uh, uh, obviously su su support it fully. Uh, the history to King Tafia's cottage is an interesting one, um, Your Worship, as, as you know, uh, under the Manuka, uh, the Manuka uh, City Council, Legacy Council. Uh, interesting that um, uh, the late Sophie Muru uh, ended up coming through to, to see us at Te Puya Marae to get King Tafia's cottage moved from uh, the original homestead through to Mangere Mountain. And uh, I also, at, at, at this point, want to acknowledge uh, uh, the CEO at the time, uh, Lee Orton, in regards to, to uh, funding <coughs> to get this removed to Mangere Mountain. Um, and having King Tafia's cottage here uh, at Mangere Mountain and, and also... Uh, with this, uh, with the Parks Committee and now the governing body, um, just, yeah, look, I, it, it's a long time coming, and, and um, for me, uh, being part of uh, the King Tafia's Cottage for many, many years as a councillor in Manukau, and um, now with the local board, so, um, yeah, definitely su su support uh, that, plus the, uh, the Education Centre coming through, Your Worship. Thank you. Uh, uh, Councillor Carthy. Uh, it was just to add the words, some words to the end of the recommendation to make it absolutely clear, and the words to add would be, and thus the responsibility of the Mangare o Tahuhu local board. Because that's why we're doing this, we're giving responsibility over. So it would make it clear, because it, it is not clear in the, in the resolution as it stands. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm reasonably comfortable with that. Uh, stating the obvious, it's good. Uh, I've got uh, next uh, Councillor Christie and then Councillor Linda. Thank you, Mr Mayor. And it's just a question <coughs> for clarification um, from the <coughs> author, the Manager of Parks um, Recreation Policy. Um, I'm, along with Councillor Fletcher and uh, Councillor Cashmore, appointed by this group to the Maunga Authority. And, of course, the Maunga Authority has an interest in contiguous parcels to the various Maunga. Um, I guess I want some comfort with this, that we're not um, stretching out the process unnecessarily in addressing the Maunga Authority's desire to look into the vesting of the administrative responsibility of those contiguous parcels to the Maunga, um, to it at some further stage. But um, if we put... Is it, 
Is there any risk of us putting a barrier in the way by actually transferring jurisdiction from yeah, the ask. regional entity to the local entity? Is there any barrier then for the Maunga Authority uh, proposals that are yet to come forward, to, yet to be worked up, uh, for them to be considered at a future date? Um, the, the future decision around the potential vesting of these pieces of council land to the Mong Authority has been um, recognised uh, in all discussions with the local board and the parks committee um, and acknowledged by the local board as a decision that will be coming. Um, there's staff don't believe there's any um, risk that this decision or any land that's held by the local boards as opposed to the governing body is, would be treated any differently in that decision making. Um, so the decision to be made by council about whether it vests its land can be made regardless of whether the land is currently allocated to the local body, local board or the governing body. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Linda. Have that sort of answered my question, but I guess then is, is this going to incur more cost, time, etc., of staff and consultation if we do it this way, the sort of interim steps, rather than just waiting, leave it vested as a regional park, then straight to the Maunga, if that happens, rather than do this and then eventually go there anyway? We don't think this would have any impact on the process we would go through to make that decision around vesting to the Mong Authority. We would fully engage with local boards uh, regardless of whether the land was allocated to them or not. So it would have no impact on that process. Okay, so I understand that, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Just though, um, could it mean that um, because it's so beloved by that local area, local board advocacy mean that it couldn't be vested because of opposition. I mean, that's my concern. I'm not saying it shouldn't go there. I'm just saying, is it going? Could it be that it becomes difficult because I, it's considered local? Then I, th I, th I think the local board has been very clear about its views on its future role, certainly with the built facilities and and the land associated with them. Um, I don't think those views would change depending on this decision today and those views will come across uh, we, as we go through the process of discussing the potential vesting to the Mong Authority. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, I've got Councillor Mike. Yes, yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. I, I support the recommendation. Um, I recall when the land was acquired and the the uh, reason for acquiring that land was to create a linkage between Mangari Mountain and the Ambury Regional Park. Uh, things have changed, perspectives have changed, but um, in some way, given the comments about how important the, the Maunga is, that we're in effect, in some ways, downgrading its status However, um, I do support the recommendation. I would be totally opposed uh, with the notion that some members seem to be suggesting that um, council land should be taken over by the Maunga Authority. Um, I would be opposed to that. The Maunga Authority needs to look after its uh, own land and the ratepayers of Auckland are paying for that. Um, so that, that's my position. Mr. Mayor, I, I support uh, the recommendation, um, but I would be opposed if there's an end game of it moving from local board control to the Maunga Authority, which, when you think about it, is an interesting name for what is really a parks, another parks committee. Thank you. Very good. Any other questions or comments, Councillor? Okay. Oh, <coughs> Councillor Bill. Just very briefly, Mr. Mayor. And to Rod, yeah, thank you for the report. The issue of the Mwanga Authority is, you know, it's newly established working in this area, and we will, just as it, it's a, a co-joint governance operation, so called may have to be that way with the local board working. You know, th this is uncharted territory to a degree, but what is charted is the fact that we have these co-governance structures that can work 
collaboratively and effectively. And I'm sure that that sort of structure can be put together to help this work out in a proactive and manner that's going to be benefit all concerned. Yep, um, it's all a part of understanding how to make the amalgamation work. The devil's always in the detail. Yep. And in the tension between all the various parts of the governance model. So there's no manual for this. It's just a slow, <laughs> sure working out with good will. So I, uh, we have got uh, moved and seconded. Move that. All those in favour say aye. 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 Once against.